Hi guys and welcome back. So first of all I have a question for you. Do you like my necklace? Yes? Then awesome because I'm going to teach you how to make it. So if you want to learn how to make this necklace just stick around and watch the rest of the video. Some jewellery pliers and wire cutters, some rhinestone beads, large gold chain, small gold chain, some gold wire, four jump rings, two gold beads and a lobster clasp and optional is your favourite nail polish. Now to start with, I'm going to paint my rhinestone beads with my nail polish. I'm just going to give them two coats and let them dry. And once you're done, they should look like this. Next, you want to cut your chain, the large chain into 15 centimeters and the small into five. So to start, you want to open your jump ring and you're going to attach the end of your gold chain to your jump ring. But don't close it yet because you're also going to put the small gold chain over the jump ring and then close it up. open up another jump ring and attach it to the other end of the gold chain and close it up. So you want to repeat the same process on the other piece of chain but when it comes to putting on the last jump ring before you close it just make sure to attach the lobster clasp. Next up, you want to cut a piece of your gold wire. No particular measurement, just make sure you cut plenty to work with. So to assemble your necklace, take your gold wire and loop it through one end of your big gold chain. And you want to fold that wire in half and push together with your fingers like you see me doing. Up, you want to twist that gold wire together and this is going to keep it nice and secure. So this is what it should look like. Once you've done that just use your wire cutters to trim off any excess. So first of all you want to start by threading on one of your big gold beads. When you do this, make sure at the end it goes through all of that wire and this is going to stop any of that from stabbing into your chest, which trust me is not nice. Once you've done that, keep threading on your rhinestone beads. You see the ones I have have two holes. I'm threading mine through the top set of holes. So thread on all five beads and then one more gold bead. you've done that it should look something like this. To finish up it's pretty much the same process as how we started. You want to thread on that large gold chain, fold over the wire and twist it up again. So as a little tip, if you're struggling to get that wire through your last gold bead, just use some jewellery pliers and just squish that wire together and you'll find it goes through the bead much easier. Now the reason I use the wire is because it's obviously very bendable. So make sure you bend that wire to make a nice curved shape to your necklace. You don't want it to be too straight. I just wanted to show you here to make sure that your jump rings are closed nice and tightly, otherwise your small gold chain may fall off. 
And here is our finished necklace. I hope you liked it and I really hope you try this out because it is really easy. If you do, like always, please send me a picture of your recreations, either on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see them. That's all for today. I hope you have a lovely day. Don't forget to check out my blog and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.